Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name's Ashley and today is a vlogging equipment haul. Ooh, ooh. For me, it was an investment to do this. Um, I don't have a lot of money to just be throwing around. I mean, I'm not a cinematographer. I don't know anything about vlogging. I'm just starting out from the beginning. So if you are too, we are definitely in this together. I could have started out just using my phone or um, an inexpensive camera. I decided to go kind of middle of the road. So I'm really excited that it turned out and that the products that I ordered are meeting all my expectations so far. I wanted you guys to actually see what the products are like. So I set everything up and that's actually what I'm filming on now. Right now I'm using my new camera, the Canon M50. I absolutely love it. I couldn't be happier. So you'll see little clips in and out of my other camera that I used. That was really awful. I mean, a little bit embarrassing to be honest. So I'm sorry <laughs> that it didn't turn out great. Um, but you'll see clips in and out. I tried to refilm as much as I could um, just because the audio and video wouldn't sync up on this and it was bad quality. And honestly, it just shows you what to expect um, if you get a camera like that or this type of camera, which is helpful. So let's get started on the haul. All right. So I ordered a bundle from Amazon. There are lots of different bundle options from different companies. I highly recommend this company. It's called Paging Zone. They had great reviews online and I'm so glad I did end up using them um, because I couldn't be more thrilled with the stuff that I got. But this bundle was $639. I mean, at first I was like, but after doing some research, I realized that it's so worth it for the functionality of the camera, all the accessories that came with it. To me, it made more sense to buy a camera for that price now, rather than buy a camera for $200 or $250 and then use it for a little while and then decide I wanted to get this camera later. Um, honestly, just saved me the money of that first camera. I'm happy with the decision for sure. So this is the camera. I'm beyond thrilled. I absolutely love it. So excited. I got the Canon M50. I did video when I originally opened the box and I'll show you some clips, um, but that camera just wasn't working out. So I decided to go ahead and refilm everything for you guys. I love this camera. I just couldn't be happier. I got the right camera that I could use for hopefully many years. Um, it has great reviews. People that use this camera love it. It's easy to use. I can like put it in my bag or just have it around my neck. Also, it came with this awesome neck strap, which I'm super excited about. I thought I was going to have to order one, but it came with it. Couldn't be happier. I know I'm super dorky, but I love it. It's a mirrorless camera, which means that it's smaller because um, it doesn't have mirrors in it to take up more space. There were smaller cameras out there, but I wanted something that had good functionality. And to me, this is still tiny. Now, I was traumatized also. <laughs> my mom was a professional photographer when I was growing up and I was always dragged along to her um, photo shoots. I was so scared this was going to arrive and be like one of her cameras from back in the day that was humongous. Um, and it's not, I'm so happy. I'm, I don't have to relive any of that trauma. I will try not to break it. When I was looking at different bundle options, I noticed that in some of the reviews, the different accessories that came in the different bundles maybe didn't work properly or weren't good quality. So I made sure to go in the reviews and actually take a look at not only the camera, but also the accessories because I chose this one specifically for these accessories. So I'll put links below on everything that I ordered so that you can go on there and see. So we have an Ulti Max professional wide angle lens. I was doing some research on ways to keep the camera stabilized because I am, like I said, not a professional and the camera's shaky when I carry it around. So um, I didn't want to invest in a gimbal, which everybody knows except for me, but uh, it's a thing that you carry around that stabilizes your camera. They were about $300, which I didn't want to pay that much. And I found that using a wide angle lens was one of the ways to stabilize it. Another thing that I liked that came in this bundle that 
help with stabilizing is this little tripod. I like that the camera can rest on here and it's just another way to keep it stabilized without having to pay $300. I mean, come on. Maybe one day. Flash. Don't know if I'll use it much, but it's cool that it came with it. Four macro close-up lens. There's so much stuff in here. I mean, it's awesome. <laughs> this was exciting. <laughs> Literally the tiniest tripod you will ever see. I mean, how cute is that? Ashley, why do you have to make everything about being cute and little and blah, blah, blah? Whatever. This is adorable. I'm obsessed with it. If I don't use it, it's gonna be like sitting on my nightstand or something because it's so cute and I love it. This little bag has my favorite mini tripod. What should I call you? All right, so we have Tina. She came in this. Tina came in the deluxe starter kit. Memory card wallet, that's cool. I'll use that. Lens cap keeper, so just really helpful stuff. Professional telephoto lens. This is cool, it's a travel charger for a battery that's con um, convertible worldwide. Digital filter kit, these go over the front of the camera and create different effects, really cool. Two different memory cards, which I loved. This bag's super nice, it's Canon. Like I couldn't be happier with it and I'm gonna try my hardest to not break this camera. Let's hope. So I did order a few things separately that didn't come in the bundle. One of the things being some extra batteries. So I have three batteries now and I'm just gonna keep them all charged up and anywhere I go, I'll just have some extra ones with me. So no problem, $25, great deal. So I set up the ring light and it's working great. I mean, this room was so dark and it looks like it's turning out okay. So basically this is what it looks like. And I just set it up behind my camera on his tripod and it works great. So this is with, this is without the light. I mean, I didn't realize, but it makes a huge difference. Super glad I got that. I decided to get an external microphone because I think it's important to have good audio, especially when I'm outside. I mean, I know when I watch YouTube videos, it's nice to be able to hear what the person's saying. And I chose a Rode microphone. Rode is a good brand. They have great quality stuff, but I didn't want to pay $200, $300 for a microphone. So I went on the lowest end of it. Um, this one was $55. They have other ones that are also great. Um, they have ones that don't have the pom-pom. It doesn't bother me. I mean, I think it's kind of cute. On some of the other cameras that I was looking at comparable to this one, they the screens flip up, which was difficult when using an external microphone. So I like that this camera, I can just like set this little guy up on top. I get good audio. Um, the screen can flip out to the side. I mean, it's the perfect setup. I absolutely love it. And for $55, I mean, this was great. Couldn't be happier. So this is the camera. This is what it looks like. This will be my setup. This will help stabilize. I can put the wide angle lens on there if that helps. This is my um, external microphone. I got it all set up. It was easy to set up um, and I just love it. I'm able to flip it out because the microphone's on top. So that's it, that was my haul with my new vlogging equipment. So far I highly recommend all the different products that I ordered. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, please like and subscribe. If you have any other questions about the products listed today, feel free to leave questions in the comments and I'll answer them and I'll see you guys soon. Are you okay? I'm making some squirrely noise.